So one of the things I like to do when I come out in the greenhouse, and I'm going to be spending time out here either picking fruit or cutting back on the plants and stuff like that. It's a good place for me to really get away from the phone and just not be bothered really by, you know, nonsense stuff, people knocking at the door. So when I get out into my greenhouse, it's like complete privacy, complete refuge, and sometimes I need to clear the energy from, you know, just negative energy, bad phone calls, things like that. I'm just, you know, so I come out here and I like to smudge or burn incense out here, but the incense I'm burning are generally outdoor incenses. These aren't indoor incenses. So you don't really want to burn this stuff inside, though you can, and I have, it's, they tend to be resiny and this, the odor can linger and you generally want to do this outdoors. So again, this is, this is what I, as far as what I know it is, it's called smudging. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn this one today. And it's white sage. White sage is a great one to burn. I also grow the broadleaf sage. It's very similar in, in scent and aroma. It's pretty much the same actually, but the, the white, it, there's a lot of religious stuff associated with this when it comes to Native American uh, beliefs and stuff. So it, not to be disrespectful to uh, any Native Americans, I'm just, I like to do this when I come out here and just cleanse myself of any negative energies. I'm not, I'm not doing it for spiritual reasons or anything, but I just like to, it, it, it's very uplifting, and the smell of sage is very calming and soothing, so I like to burn the sage, and I like to burn a number of other incenses, but we're gonna burn this one today. And it's not really a product review, but you could kind of call it a product review. So basically what I do is I buy these charcoals, okay, and you can get these online, I'll leave links in the description, you can pick them up on Amazon. And I buy them by the case, because I'm always burning these things, so I think you could buy them individually packaged, but I, I never, I just buy them by the case. And they're basically charcoals that got like an extra igniting fluid in there. And they look like this. I'm gonna try to... They look like that. And when you go to light these, they light very easily. So a lot of times you can get away with just lighting the end of it. Alright, so you want to kind of... What the heck? You want to kind of, you know, burn it like this for a minute. And burn the ends of it. Basically, it's lit right now. You just can't see it. <clears throat> Believe me, if you touch it, you'll get burnt. It lights very easily. You just can't see it right now. And what I do is I just place them in here. And this is just basically an incense bowl with sand inside of it. It's just regular sand and it's an incense bowl. But I prefer this type of incense bowl rather than burning with the wood ones. When you're burning charcoal, uh, you know, charcoals like this, you don't really want to use anything but this because it's really going to... You know, when, you, when you're when you burning with these, you can really burn the wood up bad. And it'll just give you an off smell if you try to do it that way. You can use stone if you want to. But you're better off using the sand because the sand's like a real good insulator. So... Yeah, it's probably best to just start it from the side. But when you do that, you're going to have to wait a little while before you can... You can add your...
yeah, you gotta wait a little bit. So, let this fire up a little bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's about maybe one third, a little, maybe half of the way through of lighting up. I'll show it to you what it looks like. And so you can see it's halfway lit up. So that's generally good enough for this type of incense. If you're going to start getting into the resiny type of incenses, you really got to wait until that 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 uh, charcoal disc is completely lit white and ready to go. So I'm going to add some of this to it. Let's watch it go. Now, as far as the, the scent from this stuff, it, it, sage has a very specific type of smell. It, it's it's very herby in, in scent. It, it almost smells. It's very pleasant smelling. It, it it just really lifts your spirit. I really love burning sage. And believe it or not, this little piece here will actually scent up the greenhouse, this area of the greenhouse. And I'll do that like until that charcoal is gone. I'll end up burning like, I don't know, three or four times pieces like that. Now that's got a big stem in the middle so that might take a while to burn out or I might just move it away. See if that coal is fully lit that thing will burn right up in one shot. It's still burning the coal, so. Oh, it's got such a nice smell to it. You gotta give it a little boost once in a while. The other option is is to break it up and sprinkle it in it. You just can't put a lot of it on top, it'll smother it. It'll just kind of smolder. See this had a big stem on there. So it's very much like aromatherapy, this stuff. Um, you do get a really good a, a physical effect from it. So if you don't know what aromatherapy is, go look it up online and type it in. It'll explain to you. There's many different forms of aromatherapy. This is just one of them. It, once, it, once this stuff like loses that white color and it kind of gets like brown dark brown in color you really want to get it off because then after that you don't smell the essence anymore it just smells like burning leaves so you want it you want it to vaporize those essence right off of it
All right, anyway, that's it. I'm not going to burn the incense for you for 20 minutes and have you burn through that. I just wanted to share with you one of the incenses that I burn and try to describe the odor a little bit for you. Uh, some people are kind of repulsed by the smell of, of sage. Some people aren't. I'm not personally repulsed by it. But again, if you burn sage indoors, it's really going to, the odor tends to, it just gets to you after a while. So you don't really want to do it indoors. In your greenhouse, outdoors is really where this is meant to be. So that's it. That's your sage smudge video. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.